My name is Rosemary Tagausin Kaluwalik Kinuan Sugaraluk Sugarak Dok Atongarok. I'm from Nooksit, Alaska. When I first moved to Nooksit, Prudhoe Bay was still 60 miles away. There was lights in the distance. There wasn't activity around our village. And we've gone to having tremendous amounts of overflight, gravel placement, multiple sites of development. We're dealing with many resource development plans, a lot of activity associated with research and monitoring, and a lot of activity associated with the regulations. And onshore development is causing impacts to our caribou hunting. It affects how we utilize our traditional and cultural use areas. It affects how we uh, share our traditional knowledge with our young people. If we don't have the caribou to teach our youngsters how to cut up a caribou, how to process the foods and store them, it's a big part of their life that they're missing. We rely on the foods and the resources around us to feed our families. We can't buy our foods out of the stores and feed our families. It's way too expensive. If I were to live off of the store, I'd be spending close to a thousand bucks every two weeks. And that's just too much. You can't live off of that. It's a very cold, harsh environment. We need the rich oils that are from the traditional foods to nourish our bodies to when we're trying to act out in our environment, so it's very important to us. We harvest the bowhead whale, we feed our families from these resources. The whale, we serve the blubber, the skin, the meat, the intestines, the tongue, the kidney, the, um, all parts of the whale are used. We use the lining for the liver for our drums that we make music with. Um, and these things are changed. If you don't harvest the whale, then it affects what you're going to do with your Thanksgiving feast, your Christmas feast, the blanket toss celebration. It affects your whole winter seasonal activities. For the first time this year, when we put the whale in our ice cellars, we use ice cellars to store our food. When we pulled up the whale in December, it hadn't frozen yet. The muktuk was not frozen, and that's abnormal. We need to have a timeout in the process of oil and gas development on the North Slope. There's a lot of changes that are occurring. We need to know more about the science and the research of what do we have for resources in these areas before they get out there and change what's in these areas. We need to have better baseline knowledge about what's in these areas because when there's an adverse event, if we don't have actual pictures of seals on these various islands and things like that, industry will say, how do you know it's a seal that was killed in that area? You have no proof, no dead animals. All of us can make a difference if we choose to address ways to reduce our energy consumption, and we need to do this. We need to improve renewable energy uses. We need to work on solar panels, wind generation. We could use that in Alaska. It hasn't been done. We need to push our state to do that. We have the resources of natural generation of the wind and the sun in the 24-hour daylight in the summertime. There's no reason why we shouldn't be using it.